I am on my way to Elk Grove Village to do a meetup. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning and it kind of feels like winter is always already here. It's around 47 degrees. So I've got some of my polar bear stuff on. I've got my gauntlet mittens. And I'm <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to meet a fellow YouTuber called MPLS Woman and her family. They're traveling from Minnesota down to I believe North Carolina and maybe quite a few other places along the way. So she texted me and let me know that she was Stop for the night at O'Hare at a place near O'Hare Airport, which is just a straight shot from me. One of the runways O'Hare Airport is, I can't even talk this morning, my, my mouth is frozen. One of the runways of O'Hare Airport is only about 12 miles from my house, so I get to see airplanes flying over all the time. And the channel name also is Hayabusa Girl. Or no, Hayabusa Chick. Yeah, Hayabusa Chick. And uh, the interesting thing is most of her family rides Hayabusas and pulls one-wheel trailers. So I'm pretty certain when I get there, I will get a chance to show you some of these cool one-wheel trailers that they travel with. And while I'm talking about cold weather, if you are not aware of it or haven't done so already, go check out polarbearchallenge.ning.com. We start to get active around November 1st. It's just a little event we do every year in the wintertime. Uh, more or less my take on it, myself, everybody has their own take on it. It's, it's whatever you want it to be, basically, but uh, my take on it is every year if I can improve some of my cold weather riding skills just a little bit more then uh, I've come out on top and basically the qualifications are very easy to become a polar bear you just do three rides at 32 degrees or below post at least three minutes of the ride give the beginning temperature with a regular thermometer so that we can see you actually rode in 32 degrees or below. And uh, if you want the mileage counted, you give your beginning and ending odometer readings. Um, so far it's been if you screwed up on them, which I have in the past, you still get the ride counted, but you just don't get the mileage counted. Or in my case last year, my odometer actually froze up on my Kawasaki and didn't actually register any mileage. It was the same beginning and end. must have got a piece of ice in it or something so yeah check out the link I will have below in the description and see if it's something you'd be interested in participating in half the fun is the meetups afterwards I've gotten a chance the last few years to travel to different parts of the country and meet a lot of the fellow polar bears and Lord willing I'll get a chance to meet quite a few more so I will end it right now and I will Get back to everybody when I get closer to my destination.
There they are. The one wheeled trailers pulled by Hayabusa's. Take this out so we can see a little bit better. JoeTrailer.com. Okay, so I guess I will go around inside and find out where they're at. So I'm right next to O'Hare Airport now. Huh? I'm talking to myself in the camera. <laughs> With Lisa and her husband Joe, I think is going to be coming out shortly. We'll talk a little bit more about the trailers. And I'll give you a little bit more detail here. That's the shock absorber mechanism. swivel mechanism for the trailer and it's hooked right into the back of the swing arm. Now Joe has actually built these trailers himself. If you actually look, I'll give you the link below to the channel and you'll actually see the progressions along the way. This is the, what would you call it, the third revision maybe? It is the, uh, it's the third one. Third revision. Yep. Take a look at the inside here. So if anybody is interested, he is the guy. He is JoeTrailer.com. So if anybody is interested in a trailer like this, and according to him, the Hayabusa's is the way to go for pulling it because compared to a smaller motorcycle, you actually get better gas mileage, right? Actually, you know, on all the bikes we put them on, we've gotten better mileage. Yeah? Um, partially probably because we don't screw around as much. But, okay. Uh, also, I think it has something to do with the envelope collapsing in behind the bike. Yeah. That you normally lose that. Yeah. It doesn't push on anything, but because it collapses here, it pushes on the back of the trailer. The other thing is, even fully loaded, you're only looking at about 170 pounds. Yeah. So it's the same as a small passenger, you know? Yeah. I don't know, 170 pounds. That's small? That's probably not small, huh? <laughs> so how much now, if somebody would, say, like, uh, I decided I wanted to start pulling one of these trailers, how much would it run? You know, we don't have that figured yet but okay probably about 2500 so about 2500 okay yeah trailers don't come cheap but especially when you've got all this mechanism like that you got the shock absorber swivel it leans with you i mean nice easy way to travel yeah. well, we can take them pretty fast you know? yeah that's, uh, that's a good thing about these compared to the two wheels they don't they don't wobble around behind you at all or anything oh, okay like that. They just stay straight so even cruising down the highway 70 80 miles an hour is no problem huh? yeah that's slow <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I've uh, I've had these things up well over a hundred, and it's oh okay. No, no wobble, no nothing. Nothing. Huh? So, yep. just use recommend that. Just uses a standard trailer tire that's easy to find, right? Actually, it's a scooter tire. Oh, it's a scooter tire. Okay. Which is why we uh, have the spare inside here because it's a little. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's, it's a twelve-inch scooter tire. It's not hard. It's not terribly hard to find. Now. Okay, so uh, standard 12-inch scooter tire, yep. and you carry a spare with you right there, and yep. uh, boy, couldn't be couldn't be easier to take off. I mean, every you got the clearance, everything. I mean, yep. nothing to it. Yep. So I carry my uh, clearance stand and the whole thing. So. Yeah. So anyway, we had breakfast, had a really good time. I got to visit with Joe and Lisa. Great people. If you get a chance, check out the link to their channel.